The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. <laughs> Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on you. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. <gasps> Hmm, I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, man, now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started, and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. <laughs> Voila! You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Daria. Lucky day. <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh. Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> kind of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! That Guardian, that's enough! <laughs> to the school. He won't get us there. Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! Hurry! 
Splitting a talisman is bad luck, even in Eldorado. <sighs> You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <clears throat> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco. I'll save you. Oh, I'm going to fall down. Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please. Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers. Like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Responsibilities. Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please? I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no, you still have to do all the studying yourself. <sighs> But now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured. With knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa! We're having a frog race. Wanna jump in? It'll be fun. Dolma even made a prize. Oh, so cute! Oh, but I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set and croak! Ha! And the winner is Lisa. Good well job, done. Lisa. <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie, I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa, I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget. <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's... Oh, gold? Yep, from head to tail. Wanna come see? Yes! Actually, uh, no. Sorry, I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. Excuse me, hi! Are you the Golden Dragon? I'd like to see you. <gasps> Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Ernie's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands. No way, really? Come on! That was...
was your fifth lap around. It's my turn now. We're almost done. Now it's time for the grand finale. Ready, go. Up. <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? <gasps> it's Baba Yaga playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give Six Paws back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course, collecting toadstools, weeding nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From Six Paws. An invisibility hat and golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. Uh, ah, help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities. You're not done with them yet? Don't worry. This is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? Huh. The same way as other tasks. You just do them. <sighs> all right, then. You all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can huh. detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. Oh, great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. Happy Snowland Day. Put that table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -huh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> like the most beautiful dress ever. No, five of the most beautiful dresses. I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted eye slippers or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> uh, quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> I wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests, as quick as can be, to the holiday tree. Flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah. Oh. To the right! Oh, I mean to the left! Huh? Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. Bye now. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. Go away. I don't want to come to your party. My gift! We did it! Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the hey, kids are simply. We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool. We had to walk back. But look, we saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away. <gasps> a six-legged beast! It worked! Too glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsy Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No. Not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Rooney, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go. <laughs> huh? The weather is awful. Grunwald students were trying to water the plants today, so they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not uh, the best students. Don't come back. Catch it. Catch it. There must be something here. Tell me past the time until it's sunsy day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is going to be a really long week. Wow. What in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect! Just what I need! I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! There it is! 
We'll catch you yet. Catch who? Pig's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It catch really it. worked. We wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Come on, grab it! It's getting away! Whoa! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! Whoa! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <laughs> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman. <laughs> Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. That was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You were the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful! I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, 
What was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh, dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters tricked them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school, too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for Anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. They have no idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. <laughs> we did it! <sighs> oh no, it failed. They must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living heads from underground, to the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger. So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Yes! A lot stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life-giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please What's that sound? Go, oh. Mr. Immortal, sir. Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Vasco! This is our chance to be heroes! Oh, brave warrior, show your might! You'd better surrender, sir! We can't be responsible for our actions! Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears! Simply tickle them! Oh, brave warrior, show your might! Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? <sighs> Who are those boys? Get your hands off our school! <sighs> you see, Professor, we thought someone was attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco... Hi there. ...and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it 
ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. <sighs> and now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is it even to learn? Bam, bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow. Why didn't you wake me? Good. I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trenbita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <laughs> now, let's begin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefully, Evonomics, Intrigology, and this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is. Enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <gasps> music that cures hiccups, tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, 
The horn's powers reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. do you think you're doing? As <laughs> and that is the power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more and have the best concert. <laughs> Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh dear. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The President of the Wondermont Administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes! Does that mean it's okay for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dolma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Good night, night. Marlene. Marlene. Thanks. Dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? Oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. <laughs> Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look! Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm, Baba Yaga. Goat, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. 
No, no magic, remember? <gasps> Baba Yaga without magic. I've got it. Baba Yaga! <gasps> That's enough! It's me, the immortal! Stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! That spell you're casting. Uh, are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I fear you made a small mistake. Just uh, look. What? It says right here. Stop talking. So sorry. You little pest. Let me help you. Go. Yes. Nice Go. catch. <laughs> What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic. We break the rules or lose our school. Stop that! You're messing up the spell! Whoa! Oh! No! My book! Oh! Oh, oh hot! Let me cool it down for you. <sighs> Looks like you froze me out! But I'll be back! Wow, so cool! Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> my voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hooray! 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 Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what the techniques? Do you Girls, suggest please the stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for magic home economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in a pseudo fairy tale style at the last hmm. moment. Hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. 
that's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Oh. Professor! Oh. Where is the immortal? Oh. Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Huh? Uh, uh. <gasps> Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! <gasps> Ooh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell? To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream, they're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh, no. What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Ah, oh, I've got to get help. Hi, <laughs> Marlene. Daria, why are you running? To find help. Ah, oh, Marlene. Thank goodness you're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. 
It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Ah, huh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls, and she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look! Over there! Why, that's only Marlene! What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene! Our Marlene is on vacation! But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Hey, Grab her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the professor. Oh. To be one of our best, teach us! Oh. Professor, I'll cut off her escape. Oh. What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Woo! Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right, but let's keep it our little secret. Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. 
Ordinary headed dragons. Awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. <laughs> We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Uh, good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's uh, begin now. <sighs> You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. <gasps> they are sweet and obedient creatures. Creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragonflies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? <clears throat> Marlene, these are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time? Tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please? No. He's not going to let her. But what if he does? And she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear, poor Marlene. <sighs> she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. It looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. Oh, this doesn't look very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. It didn't work. Oh, oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? 
you're the one ruining our dreams. Uh -huh. Now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well-rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well-rested. So now the three-headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. 